Hi there, so today I'm in the Bronx, and so today I'm at the Botanical Garden. Ah, that is backwards. So, the New York Botanical Garden, that's where I am today. And so there seems to be some kind of a train show, a holiday train show. I figured why not take a look at some nice plants and some cool uh, sculptures uh, made out of plant material. Hi. Is this a map? Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, I just bought the parking pass. I don't have a ticket. I have to go in? Okay, thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> just one, please. What's that? Train show, yeah. Yeah. I actually don't even know how much you how charge me. By the way, parking here is $17. So that's, I mean, that's not crazy for you. Then good for you, but that's your great. Okay, so we're in the botanical garden. This is probably like a little gift shop. We can probably come back at the end. I really want a coffee, but I don't have time. Okay, great podium, he said. And that make a left. Turn your left. So hmm. interesting tree. Okay, so that should be the conservatory. And I believe that's where the holiday train show will start. Okay, so holiday train show, here we go. Look, it's Grand Central Station. Grand Central Terminal. So, definitely very cool exhibit. Um, I think one of the things that makes it different from when I came was that when I came it was a... Uh, they were kind of reconstructing like a different part of Manhattan and I think the focus today is uh, a lot of uh, lower Manhattan. So. Okay, now we're in a different portion. Yeah, kind of. And this is um, Detail is so good. This is the <laughs> And this is the Row Center for Earth and Space. So this place is amazing. I actually have a fascination with uh, model trains and that's part of the reason why I was interested in coming today. Uh, again, I've seen this show before, but it changes every year. And so again, today's theme is um, Lower Manhattan. And so it's, it's so incredible to see how they recreate uh, famous buildings out of plants. So in this part, the exhibit focuses a lot on um, famous buildings in the Hudson River Valley. And so we'll see a lot of historical buildings that are still, you know, still exist. Uh, 
Right now we're going through like the Midtown section, classic buildings found in Midtown, and um, it's nothing short of breathtaking. Okay, so now we're getting into the portion that I'm really excited about, which is the Lower Manhattan buildings. Whoa, City Hall. And Barts. And more Midtown Classics. Of course. Cool. I see the back of the building. See a lot of like Manhattan related stuff, but not really like the main. Uh... Here it is. And this is the Brooklyn Bridge. Coney Island, of course, classic. Gotta have Coney. Amazing. Even the ticket booth. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Really just stunned with the level of detail and attention, especially the World Trade Center, because the World Trade Center, you know, when you look at it, it's reflecting like the sky above. So it, in a way, it kind of looks like you're looking right through it. And that is the effect that they achieved with this translucent kind of glass. Okay, so I think that pretty much concludes the uh, holiday train show portion of the garden. Okay, so I got myself into the uh, into the uh, rainforest section of the botanical garden, and it's really quiet here. I don't know why I'm whispering, but it's fucking quiet. It's amazing. Oh, it's a wow, those are huge leaves. Crazy. Not in here it is, but it feels good. It's better to be hot and cold in my opinion and right now it's freezing so it's really cool i love the way it smells too it smells like just life Ooh, what's this for okay i'm gonna go ahead and take a guess and that's not for us oh these are cocoa leaves cocoa plants that does somebody call my name. Scary. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ooh, what? Okay, something fell. Let's take the easy stairs. Don't carve trees. According to the NYBG, do not carve into trees. I'm bad for them. Do I hear the local fauna? Another pair of intruders, like myself. Layer upon layer. Oh, okay, this is cool. These are all the different layers of the rainforest. With the forest floor, understory layer, which is like the mid sized plants. Canopy layer is the plants that are above us. And the emerging layer are the super talls. And as you can see, we have all four layers present here okay so that's the rainforest let's go see what else okay, it looks like we've only covered this portion of the of the botanical garden this being where the olive train show is and this is what we are right now this is where we came in so we have this whole thing to cover right now luckily there does seem to be a tram and before we get on the tram we're gonna get some food I nearly missed it. I was gonna take this little shortcut to get back to the main entrance out of the holiday train show. 
but no, I came the long way, and then I realized there was this other path, and that is why I don't take shortcuts. So this kind of takes you through the cycle of the, well, whatever that is. So it's like that, and then it starts blooming a little bit, and then it opens up. And now we're in the desert portion. What? Much foliage. So many plants. And yes, they are all kind of in the same, more or less, succulent category. But still, I mean, this is insane. Oh my god. These are so cool. Look at the size on these things. Huge stalks. Beautiful cacti is not something that I think of often, but beautiful cacti, goddamn. This one is unreal. Look at this. Oh, is this agave? Holy crap. For those of you who are familiar with agave, agave is used a lot in bartending to sweeten drinks, and we call it agave water. But I never knew it came from something like that. This one's creepy too. Looks like a bunch of snakes. Okay, so there's a downstairs area that I really want to get to. Leave it to you. Oh my god, what? Oh, there's a thing that connects them underneath. Well, first of all, I wish I'd known about this before. Second of all, uh, we already did the rainforest, so <laughs> I'm gonna turn around. But the pictures are cool. All right, let's run through all the whole tunnel. Although, I didn't see the entrance to this on the rainforest side. So there's a chance that I missed this thing over there. We'll find out. Three, two, one. Whoa. I definitely missed this. Okay. Similar, it's like the Akali plant, but oh, well, maybe I should have touched it. When I tell you that I'm legitimately blown away, like, oh, I feel like I'm in another country. I think this is the area where they were doing like some kind of improvement. Yes, I see the ladders. Okay, well, been there, done that. So let's just go back down the tunnel. Right after this. <gasps> miniature plants. It's a miniature ecosystem. Okay, that was it. That was the um, holiday train show at the Hopped Conservatory at NYBG. Super awesome. God, that totally blew my mind. I'm not even kidding. Amazing. So, again, I'm going to get something to eat because I haven't had breakfast and I like to try the food wherever I go. Because that's how I do it. And then after that, we'll explore. I want to explore the rest of the botanical garden. Oh. Well, can I get an Italian sandwich, please? Hi. Uh, hi. Thank you. Just left the cafe. God, I feel so satisfied at so many levels. Uh, yeah, we're right kind of back at the entrance and um, I'm on my way to take the tram. But, oh shit, there's the tram. Cool, right on time, nick of time. Perfect. So, goes around like this. Whatever, whatever. Magnolias, there we go. Just hope I have enough time to cover all of it. Uh, we'll see. Oof. Yikes. I thought it would be like a closed, a closed vehicle, but it, it isn't. Oh, I guess we can't have it all. Oh, conifers, yes. I see it. Thousands of mature trees, plant hundreds of thousands. 
the tram thing uh really cold honestly just holy cold. also i was kind of short because well it's winter so a lot of the plants that one would normally see here are are not in bloom just yet uh, a lot of exhibits are abandoned or closed or you know they're just not uh it's not the season for it i figure i'll do another trip and come back and see it in the spring when everything really blooms I have to come back in april for for when uh you know for when it's spring duh what the fuck am i saying but you know what that's fine because the holiday train show is during the holidays and we wouldn't have been able to see it if we'd come in the summer. I just have like basically two more areas to explore. There is this thing that I don't have to wait for spring for and it's called a rock garden. I don't know, I just wanna sate my curiosity. I've never heard of a rock garden and the fucking rock garden is closed. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, let's see. Where else? I'm going to the library, which is that way. Okay. Here at the Mertz Library, it is gorgeous. This is an area that I never really explored before at the Botanical Garden, so I'm kind of excited to see what's inside. We're going up the hill. So we're here at the library. I'll just open it because I have to walk a lot for this. So this is how much plant variety there is versus how much animal and fungi variety all stemming down from the common ancestor. So basically this museum is right now like a research facility for new life, new plants, new fungi, new everything like in moss and all that. That pretty much covers that. Uh, we're done with the library. And honestly, I think we're pretty much done with the whole botanical garden as far as what we can do right now. We could go through the Thane Forest, but it's all gonna just gonna be dead trees and whatnot. I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like the video if you can, if you want to. I'm gonna start coming out with videos every week. See you guys around, bye.